Today, we are going to do a Super Bowl Rams vs. Bengals game preview. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Foot Bass Podcast. Today, we are going to do a Super Bowl Rams vs. Bengals game preview. Um, so we're going to hop right into it. We're going to basically go, we're going to talk about uh, the players and their stats and stuff. Then we're going to go, um, and then I'm going to say my prediction at the end of the video. Um, but we're going to start right off. Um, first thing I got to say is I think, personally, quarterback pressure is going to be the key to the Super Bowl win, whoever wins, because Joe Burrow against the Titans was sacked nine times, and Matthew Stafford against the Rams was sacked a couple times. So, um, um, you can, I think that that'll be a big part of the game. Um, and, but Joe Burrow's stats, you can't take away from that. 34 touchdowns this year, four, 14 interceptions, and a 108.3 passer rating um, for the 2021 season. Um, and that's just obviously really good. Obviously, you're one of the best quarterbacks in the league if you can make your team to the Super Bowl, especially when you only go 10 and 7 or 11 and 6 um, in the regular season. You obviously make a good run in the playoffs, and that's obviously really good. That's that's what makes a quarterback special is when they don't get like just a bunch of pressure by the moment. They don't get they don't go cold in the moment, or they don't choke. Um, a big matchup that uh, one of the big matchups I um, am going to be watching a lot, and I know a lot of people are too, is Jamar Chase uh, versus Jalen Ramsey. Um, Jamar Chase, obviously one of the better players, one of the better wide receivers in the league. Um, no question, Rookie of the Year uh, award is definitely going to him. No question. And obviously Jalen Ramsey, they faced um, Jamar Chase faced a lot of good corners like uh, Tyron Matthew and Javarius Ward last week against the Chiefs, but it's not Jalen Ramsey good. Um, and I think it will be a big. It'll be a big. It'll be a big deal if. Obviously, for the Super Bowl, and if Jalen Ramsey can contain Jamar Chase in any sort of way, um, that'll be really good for um, the team, for the Rams. Um, sorry. <laughs> It'll be a really good um, opportunity for the Rams to just pull away from that game because Jamar Chase, without I think without Joe, without Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow is not that good. Um, I think. So yeah, that that's one of my key matchups, um, and uh, and I just told you the stats for the Joe Burrow for Joe Burrow in the 2021 whole season. But in the championship game, had 250 pass yards, um, 6.6 yards uh, per attempt, um, and two touchdowns and one interception. Um, that's obviously a really good stats. Kind of the same as normal for him. He's had. An interception in his last... No. I don't know. Um, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, I think... I mean, obviously, 6.6 .6 yards per attempt is very good. When you have Jamar Chase, when you have C.J. Usama, who may play, has a chance to play uh, in the Super Bowl, and you got um, Tyler Boyd, you got um, just a lot of other good players that can, and a lot of good tight ends that can fill in for C.J. Usama. Um, it's just a really good combination, I think, that six. Six yards per attempt really shows. Um, it really showed in that game. Um, the problem is Joe Burrow's been sacked 51 times, um, most in the NFL by far um, this season. And their offensive line needs some work, obviously. Um, they can't take a bunch of hits all the time. That just can't happen. Um, Rams... Um, Rams, though, and obviously that this is a huge factor because Rams have 50 sacks under their belt for this season. I'm third in the NFL. Um, and Von, uh, Von Miller's been playing really well. Aaron Donald obviously plays tremendous. Uh, Leonard Floyd. Um, <clears throat> obviously, just all those guys have been playing really good football, and I think that will really show in the Super Bowl. Um, Joe Burrow, though, 
one uh, one uh, uh, 100 point seven uh, pass rating versus blitz this year, which is 13th in the league. Um, that's some okay stats, kind of middle of the pack there. But um, against this uh, Ram sec uh, Ram secondary and defensive line, it's gonna be pretty hard. Um, and Joe Burrow has a 94.6 passer rating um, again first pressure versus pressure, um, and that is third in the league this year. Um, it. Um, I'm sorry, I keep looking over here because I had a sheet of paper. I had a lot of sheets of paper, so this is gonna be kind of a long episode. I'm no, I know I've had a, a couple of short episodes in a row, so I'm gonna make this one about 40 minutes. Um, but yeah, I think Joe Burrow versus Blitz is okay, and versus pressure is really good, third in the league. Um, and Joe Burrow has uh, an 100 rating in the playoffs. Joe Burrow in the playoffs is a 100 overall rating, passer rating in the playoffs versus pressure. Um, that's obviously a really good set as well. I mean, a 100 passer rating is good. Um, it'll get you far. Um, the Bengals O line, the Bengals O line, the conference championship had uh, one sack allowed um, and four quarterback hits. Um, that, I mean, four quarterback hits is really good because I've seen a lot of teams like the Lions, the Browns, and Steelers, all those teams, all the not very good teams. Um, their O line is just not good. I mean, especially with like the Lions. Um, it does. So you just don't have a strong offensive line, and that might show. It may be the same type of deal. What happened with the Chiefs in the Super Bowl with their offensive line? Um, their left center, the Chiefs' left center, played um, his eighth team in nine years. So that's obviously that was a backup for the, in the Super Bowl. So that wasn't obviously good. Um, the Rams' last seven games. Von Miller has had seven sacks. So that's a sack a game. That is just incredible numbers. A sack a game, Von Miller is just so good. He is now playing like he did with the Broncos when they won Super Bowl 50. Um, it's just just a really good. And But Aaron Donald, his last eight games, he's had seven sacks. So that's a uh, half a sack a game. Uh, that's good. It's not as good as Von Miller, though, but I think Aaron Donald will be better than Von Miller in the Super Bowl. Aaron Donald did very well against the Patriots in the Super in Super Bowl 52 uh, Super Bowl 53. Um I think it will show Von Miller obviously also played really well against the Panthers in Super Bowl 50. He had a strip sack. Um that he really led his team won MVP in that game. Um but yeah. Um Jamar Chase um um, his season, um, 81 receptions, 13 touchdowns, 1,455 yards, and 651 yard, 51 yard, 651 yards after the catch. Um, that's obviously a really good, really good numbers. One of the better in the league. Um, I compare Jamar Chase to Justin Jefferson a little bit. They just seem like two similar players and two uh, two different similar play styles that they do. Um, yeah. Um, the Rams. Hold on. Yeah, no. Wrong piece of paper. <laughs> um, Rams pass defense has a uh, 7.7 YPA and an 87.1 passer rating. Um, Rams pass defense, they've allowed 87.1 passer rating against other quarterbacks, which is really good. Um, the Rams pass defense for 2021, 10.8 um, uh, YPC, and completion percentages, they are 24th in the league in uh, completion percentage, which is good. Obviously, one of the better in the league, because completion percentage, you don't want to have good completion percentage if you're a defense. Um, the running backs for the Bengals um, in their in the conference championship game: seven targets, six receptions, uh, 70, 70 yards, and a touchdown. Um, mainly came from Joe Mixon, Samaj P. Ryan. Uh, those are the guys that I mean, Joe back uh, Joe Joe Mixon's number one uh, running back, and Samaj P. Ryan's number two. But they're both really good, and I think Samaj P. Ryan he he. 
in a not very good team, I think he would definitely be number one um, with the way he's playing right now. Um, the Rams' rush defense uh, in 2021, 4.4 4 yards per carry. Um, in conference championships, 2.5 yards per carry, which is obviously really good numbers, in, in the, especially in the conference championships. Uh, when you hold Eli Mi- Mitchell to only 2.5 yards per carry, is a very good number. And 4, point, uh, 4 yards per carry for the season is pretty good. Um, Joe Burrow's last two games, um, an interception in each of them. I think I said that um, earlier in the episode. But um, that that could be a factor when it comes to, I mean, when you got Jalen Ramsey, you sometimes have Leonard Floyd playing um, QB, um, QB spy, um, or QB just protecting the middle of the field. You got Blitz back here. And you got in the middle. You got sometimes Leonard Floyd, and sometimes, um, sometimes even Jalen Ramsey. I don't know. That was a weird way of explaining it, but yeah, that's that could be a factor. Um, Rams defense has a um, Rams defense to take away in ten straight games. Um, yeah, so that's obviously huge. Most of them are interceptions. Not a Great amount of fumbles, maybe two or two or three games are fumbles, but uh, most of them are interceptions. Um, the Rams' defense for 2021 um, points per game is 16th, third down defense is 21st, and red zone defense they are eighth. Um, points per game is okay, 16 again, middle of the pack. Third down defense not very good, 21st in the league, um, and red zone defense that's really good, only eighth in the league and. I think they're they're so good in the red zone because they have such a good so they just have really good man coverage especially like even in open field they have really good man coverage and especially when you get down to the red zone the wide receivers don't have many places to go and the man coverage just helps a lot more. Um, Bengals offense uh, uh, Bengals defense uh, points per game are their eighth third down D their sixteenth and red zone they are sixteenth. Um, Points per game, though, eighth place, really good. It, I mean, it kind of, I mean, 20, 27 points scored, no, 24 points scored by the uh, Chiefs. That was that was an okay game for points per game. Obviously, the first half didn't go well for them. But, and then third down defense, 21st in the league, just kind of like the Rams. It's not the best, but it, I think it's, it'll, I think the Rams defense with Jesse Bates, um, Hilton, um, a lot of other good guys, I think their third down defense will get better. I think they're probably working on that um, so far. Um, like, two weeks they've had to prepare. Um, red zone 8th, uh, same different, same thing. No, red zone 16th. Um, middle of the pack, I think the Rams are definitely better, and it definitely shows in the red zone. Um, Cooper Cup, uh, we're going to move on to Cooper Cup now. Cooper Cup's just insane he's so good off the ball he's so good with the ball and his stats in 2021 definitely shows that 145 receptions uh 1947 yards 17 touchdowns and those are all first um ranking wise um that's just really good when you think about all the other like when you think about jamar chase and justin jefferson makes him look not that good (laughs) um and Cooper Cup last Cooper Cup's last two games more of the same 150 plus yards in both games. Um, he comes alive definitely in the playoffs. I mean he's obviously really good in the regular season, but he he adds that in the playoffs, especially against when they uh, played against the uh, Bucks and the 49ers. Um, pass defense for the conference championship uh, for the Bengals uh, versus Tyreek Hill only uh, he only caught seven only seven reception receptions for 78 yards and a touchdown first touchdown of the game for him um that is good numbers I think Tyreek Hill obviously is better than that but I think is it was an okay game for him I think they're gonna need to work on that especially when you have Cooper Cup just getting wide open all the time and definitely need to work on that um Odell Beckham in the conference championships 11 targets nine receptions and 113 yards no touchdowns um that that's a really that's a really good number. I think Odell Beckham is the best number two wide receiver in the league, uh, behind Cooper Cup, obviously, and 
I think if Robert Woods was still there and didn't get injured, that I think it'd be a no-brainer. The Rams are going to win, but they're not. Um, he's not black. Um, Kendall Blanton filling in for Tyler Higby um, in the conference championships. Five targets, five receptions, 57 yards. Um, that's pretty good. I mean, five targets, five receptions. Caught every single ball he uh, uh, Matt Stafford threw to him. Um, that's really good. Um, Bengals defense were 20-21. Um, 10.7 yards uh, YPC. Um, 12th uh, completion percentage is 26th. Um, 26th is okay. It's not very good. It's not very good. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. It's just not very good. Um, you know, uh, another really uh, two um, good matchups. Um, I also saw as Eli Apple versus Odell Beckham Jr. Um, that's a really good matchup. That's the second best behind Jalen Ramsey and Jamar Chase. Um, and then we got Chidobi uh, Awazu versus Cooper Cup. Um, I think Cooper Cup will run all over him. I think they're going to have to switch to either Eli Apple or, yeah, to Eli Apple, I think. And then um, Chidobi uh, Awazu will switch to Oda Beckham. Um, Trey Hendrickson um, in the conference championships. Um, uh, Five times he pressured the quarterback, which is really good. Um, yeah. Um, last page of notes. <laughs> um, Sam Hubbard in the conference championship for the Bengals. Two sacks and five times he pressured the quarterback. Oh, and Trey Henderson did have one, uh, one and a half sacks. But Sam Hubbard um, had two sacks, which is better than 1.5. And five times he pressured the quarterback, just like Trey Hendrickson. And that is really good. Um, pass rush for the conference championship uh, for the Bengals. Uh, four sacks, five quarterback hits. Um, that will definitely get you a win, I think. Um, it, it can just it can just ruin a quarterback's confidence when you hit him five times in four sacks. Um, now we're moving on to the Matthew Stafford. Uh, really good. Matthew Stafford, 2021 uh, stats, 63.4 passer rating versus pressure. Um, that's 20th in the league. 63.4 passer rating is not very good. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, but Matthew Stafford for the conference championships, 337 yards, two touchdowns, an interception, and a 96.3 passer rating. Um, that is just, I mean, 337 yards, obviously, really good. Two touchdowns. The INT should have had two interceptions. Uh, Kwashi Tart um, really messed that up. <laughs> um, but it's a cool little stat. Um Matthew Stafford is 11 or 0 when his passer rating is over 100, and I could definitely see that. Um, Rams O line this year for 2021 fifth lowest uh, pass pass percent uh, PRSS allow, uh, percent allowed. Um, that is really good numbers. Um, Rob Havenstein 2021 uh, Rams offensive lineman allowed most sacks on team, which is this, uh, seven sacks. He allowed, so he allowed seven sacks, which is not good. Um, I think he's going to retire after this year or maybe next year. Uh, but Rob Havenstein has been very good for the Rams, and I think he'll pick it up um, this game. Um, Bengals pass rush, though, when you got Rob Havenstein, um, definitely need to work with that weak side. But speaking of that, Bengals pass rush, 2021 sacks 11th in blitz uh, percentage is 26th in the league. Um, the blitz percentage is not very good, and the sacks 11th, which is good, which is not, which is in the middle of the pack, but still good, not top 10 though, but when you got Rom Havenstein, um, either left tackle or right tackle, um, I think they're definitely going to attack that weak side. Um, uh, pa uh, Bengals pass rush for the conference championships is two sacks on three-man pass rushage, rush rushes, um, that is a good, I mean, two two sacks on a three-man pass rush. Um, that is really good because you only got three guys and you're only in that. That means you got more people defending um, Tyreek on Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey. But I think they're going to do a lot of that um, against Cooper Cup, um, Van Jefferson, and Odell Beckham. And I think they're going to do that a lot in the Super Bowl. Um, but in two sacks, it was working for him, I guess. Um, that was half of their sacks came from um, a three-man pass rush. Um, 
Rams offense, this is the last stat I got for you, then I'm going to tell you my prediction for the Super Bowl. Um, Rams, the Rams offense, conference championships, 2.9, 29 carries, 70 yards, um, and 2.4 uh, yards per carry. That was for the running backs. Um, 29 carries is a lot for Cam Akers. I think Daryl Henderson ran it a couple times, but Cam Akers, I mean, that's a lot. And 70 yards, that's not very good. Um, and obviously, 2.4 yards per carry is not good. Um, but yeah, that is my set of notes that I got for you. Um, and with all that, I'm going to tell you my prediction, my score prediction for the game. I think it's going to be a close game. Or, I mean, I think it's going to be a closer game than people think. They think People think the Bengals are going to beat them pretty good. I don't think so. I think the Rams are going to win 30 to 20. Um yeah, that is my prediction. Uh put your prediction down in the comments. Um yeah, that is going to be the end of the video. Um hope you guys enjoyed it and see ya.